The only thing better than lighting up a fabulous cigar is lighting up a cigar for a good cause. You're watching Bespoke Unit and my name is Reinhardt. Welcome to this review of Adventura's Peace of Heart. The Peace of Heart is a charitable brainchild project from Marcel Knobel and Adventura Cigars. The project helps visually impaired children in the Dominican Republic to find glasses. As a matter of fact, glasses are a luxury and they're an absolute necessity for those people, as they are for myself. Launched in 2015, El Aposente is a social service program in Tamboril and they provide all various kinds of programs from education, social work, youth group programs, voluntary cleaning of neighborhoods, sports programs, and many other wonderful charitable causes. Only recently, it has begun working with local Dr. Marilyn Paez to bring eyeglasses to children in the area. So with the donations of Adventura and the CB Foundations, a Zurich-based group that focuses on creating jobs for people with health impairments on a private sector basis, approximately 30 children every single month can get their much needed spectacles. Therefore, two Swiss franc of every single cigar sold are being donated to that new program launched by El Aposento. This cigar is a 5x52 short belly cosa. As you can see, it features an Ecuadorian Kinetic Age Head wrapper. The binder is Indonesian Sumatra, as well as fillers from Ecuador and the Dominican Republic. The cigar is manufactured at Tabacalera William Henderson because Adventura Cigars is a collaboration between the acclaimed and renowned cigar manufacturer Henderson Ventura and the Swiss entrepreneur Marcel Knobel. Marcel is the brain behind the operation and also the brain behind the charitable cause of peace of heart. The Swiss-born entrepreneur, tobacconist and coffee producer has a profound background as a sommelier and in the wine industry. So he has a very refined palate and he always brings that to the table when creating new blends together with Henderson in the Dominican Republic. The cigar is being released in humidified pouches of five cigars, each one priced at 12 Swiss franc, of which, as mentioned before, two Swiss franc will go to the charity. So I think for such a good cause, that's quite a fair price, plus the cigar provides a fantastic smoking experience. But we'll get to that in just a second. So let's dive right in. First of all, the look and feel of the cigar is very elegant, refined. It's a typical Connecticut shade, light hue of a, a light toffee cream. The bend looks very glossy, shiny with that beautiful ornate green color and a little bit of that sparkling effect to it. The wrapper is quite oily. It's firmly packed, quite even, so no soft spots. The veins refined as well. Overall, very slick and very elegant. The aromas of the wrapper and the foot are a rich, funky banana cream, some wet wood pieces, myrrh, and a little bit of olibdanum. When it comes to the cold draw, which is almost ideal, even though slightly on the loose side, the flavors are still very rich. I get some hay, I get some quince with a little bit of acidity, a little bit of bitterness. I find certain aromas that remind me of lemon sherbet. I also get balm wood and a fresh mineral salty kick as well as a more creamy, velvety and oily Brazil nut. That oily and creamy sensation is perfectly translated into the first third of the cigar. Pumpkin seeds. I get a very nuanced fresh and almost floral quality out of the first few puffs. White chocolate comes into the overall picture with a hint of nut milk. 
almost like a, a slightly uh, roasted hazelnut. Behind that, a little bit of brioche and pain perdu in combination with a, with a fresher, more lively eucalyptus note to it. Very light draw, an easy draw, and a very uncomplicated smoking sensation reveals lemon balm, particularly in the retrohale, I get some white pepper, and just a hint of sweet fruits, berries. I would say fresh forest strawberries with a dollop of whipped cream on top. Moving on to the second third, that floral sensation is still very much there. And it makes for a very subtle, elegant, fresh, and an almost spring-like experience. I detect some jasmine tea and a quality that I already noticed before lighting the cigar, which was mirror in combination with frankincense and a little bit of the pepper that we had on the retrohale, but now it's more prominent on the palate though quite wonderfully balanced by the luscious, oily and nutty sensations of almond butter. And again, some of the fruity notes, that gourmet dessert-like experience with heavy cream, whipped cream, or I could even say clotted cream for those of you who are familiar with the term from English afternoon tea. From the very beginning, the cigar gives me a lot of creaminess. It gives me a very smooth, elegant mouthfeel. Hardly any astringency. It's very balanced, but the palate is stimulated all over, and thus it gives a full bodied, even though a very light smoking experience. Moving on to the final third, I get a luscious, wonderful marzipan, slightly covered in white chocolate, a bit of whipped cream again pepper, even though more of a pink pepper, this time in the prolonged finish, rhubarb, uh, almost like an African spice rub with a little bit of balm wood and a hint of labdanum towards the very end. Overall, it is a mild cigar, but it's not a bland, boring, uninteresting Connecticut shade. It's got a lot of complexity. With every puff, you get a slightly different sensation. You get new tones and nuances every now and then, even though all of them are beautifully balanced. It's a very harmonious smoke. The development in terms of the life cycle is medium plus, I would say, but the finish is quite lingering and gives you a beautiful, lasting, long aftertaste. The residual scent in the room is gorgeous with a touch of fruit, a little bit of pepper spice, a woody and nutty quality, but very much in a fresh spring-like framework. As you would possibly expect with such a thin, fragile wrapper, the burn is ideal. A very thin burn line, slightly oily, but no issues whatsoever from beginning to the very end. Even the draw is excellent. The cold draw was a little bit on the loose side, but after lighting the cigar, the draw has been exceptional. On the palate, the smoke feels quite cool, focused, and the ash backbone is very strong with a pure white crystalline ash. As I mentioned before, the green color of the band with a, that slight glossy shimmering effect goes beautifully well with the spring-like fresh quality of the smoking sensation. There is no box that we could judge because the cigars come in a five pack, but it's humidified. It will keep your cigars in perfect condition even if you do not have a proper humidor setup back home. So you can keep the cigars and enjoy them over a prolonged period and even a couple of months. For us, as always, I have stored these cigars in my Coolidor that I keep at perfect humidity with 69% Boveda packs and I constantly monitor those storing conditions with a Boveda butler. Given the monetary uptick of two Swiss francs per cigar, 12 francs for the smoke 
is a decent price, but it is certainly outstanding value for money if you consider that you're supporting a charitable cause with every purchase. Therefore, I would also say that this is a cigar that you can smoke on any occasion. It's perfect as a morning cigar with a coffee for your lunch break in the afternoon or even as a late night cigar because I find after you've smoked a couple of full bodied heavier cigars, it can be perfect to go back and take it down a notch with a lighter, refreshing Connecticut shade. And since you'll be supporting a charitable cause with your smoke, just grab them. You'll certainly not be disappointed by the sheer smoking experience and find that this is a rather complex, full-bodied, very creamy Connecticut shade smoke. I also find this is a very easy to pair with cigar. There's plenty of options. There's plenty of variety and different little snacks finger food pairings or beverages that you could combine with a piece of heart. Me, particularly, I would go for a glass of Provençal Rosé, giving you some of those red fruit and berry sensations that will perfectly accompany the smoke here. Also, some of the acidity, a fresh, lively and vibrant cooling sip on the tongue. Alternatively, since there's a little bit of a, of a funkiness within the aromas and flavors here, I think sheep's milk would be lovely. As you probably know, I often grab for a glass of milk when smoking cigars because the creamy, fatty effect that you have on the palate will calm down your senses a little bit and open up your palate yet again for the next puff. A good cup of tea would perfectly round off the experience here. My tea of choice for that would be milk oolong. And what would be better for an afternoon tea than a bunch of scones, some clotted cream and fresh house-made strawberry jam to go with it. If you find yourself reaching for the chocolate bars when smoking the cigar, in this particular case, I would recommend a white chocolate or you fancy some little nuts, either Brazil nuts or macadamia would be excellent as a snack to accompany your smoke here. Overall, this smoke is a very heartfelt experience. It's got the perfect name for that. It's got the perfect charitable cost behind it. The piece of heart is something that we can all support by grabbing those cigars, enjoying the smoking experience and reminding ourselves of all the good, the positive and the uniting effects of enjoying wonderful premium handmade cigars. I want to thank Marcel Knobel from Adventura, the guys of the CB Foundation and El Aposento for their wonderful initiative and in giving us as cigar passionados the opportunity to support them whilst smoking our favorite sticks. Do something good for yourself by smoking one of these lovely piece of heart Connecticut Shade Cigars from Adventura and do something good for other people by supporting the charitable cause behind it. And with that, I want to thank you for watching this review and I'll see you next time here at Bespoke Unit. Light them up and goodbye.